Hi, my name is Mike Tice and I teach my face-to-face -face classes at the University of Wisconsin Marathon campus. I also teach for the University of Wisconsin online campus. I will be working with you in an application called Microsoft Excel. This is a general introduction to Microsoft Excel version 2010. If you're used to one of the earlier versions, it really isn't that different. Okay, with what we're looking at here, up on the title bar area, there's a workbook open, and it's called the Book One. It's a Microsoft Excel product. We have our three icons over here on the far right for closing, uh, resizing, and minimizing our, our whole uh, workbook. And we have the same three icons down on this line. We have some tabs. Tabs were introduced in an earlier version of Excel. The big difference visually that you see is there's a tab for the file options right here instead of the office button that you used to be used to. <clears throat> Every one of my tabs has a ribbon. I just clicked on the insert ribbon. The objects in this ribbon here where the mouse is moving can be inserted. Okay. The If I click on the view tab all the objects have to do with what I'm looking at and how I'm looking at my workbook or my worksheet. I'm going to go back to the Home tab. You will notice, especially if you're used to the word processing world, there's a lot of the same commands, procedures, if you may, available. If you know one of these programs, you, you know a very high percentage of the basic basic procedures right, right away. Please notice the tabs. Uh, there are groups. There's a font group, an alignment group, a number group. The icons are grouped by what they do. So that can be kind of handy. It helps you identify visually with what's going on. If you're used to one of the older versions of an application, some of the groups have this little icon in the bottom right hand corner. This, when I click on this icon, it will bring up a dialog box like you're used to using in earlier versions. Okay, let me cancel that. You'll notice some groups have this ability, some groups don't. When I get over here to styles and cells and editing, I don't have that group bring up a dialog box capability. Want to make sure you, that you realize the terminology that we use is really important. As we talk to each other, communicate, <clears throat> especially in an online class like this, we have to know the words. We have to understand the jargon. So you're going to see me talking and using terminology, especially at the beginning here, just to make sure you're familiar with it. I have opened a part of a worksheet, okay? And I made the worksheet just big enough to fit in the window that we're working in so I wasn't wasting any space. The worksheet, it's sheet one, okay? Sheet two or sheet three, they all look the same now. I just want you to realize there are multiple worksheets that you can have when you work in Excel. By default, we can see three. The total is 255 worksheets. That's an awful lot of workroom. Columns and rows. In Excel, that's what we work with, columns and rows of data. Inside a specific worksheet, in this case sheet one, I have a cell selected. I'm using my mouse right now just because I'm used to it. I could use 
my keypad. That's what I'm doing now as I'm moving around using my arrow keys on my keyboard. When I move the active cell, I want you to be aware of a fact that there's a name box. My mouse cursor is hovering over the name box. This cell has a name. It's column B, row 2. You can see the name right up here. That cell reference is really important. You'll find out as we start going on a little bit in Excel that you can use the cell references in your formulas. For now, just so you know, there's a name box area and it helps you keep track of what, what areas your cursor is actually in. The other area is the formula bar, okay? I'm clicking in it. My mouse is clicking up here in the formula bar. When I start working with formulas, you will see them character by character printed out in this character box. Sometimes the formulas, the relationships can be pretty big. This is where you can see them the quickest. I can take and I can close my workbook by clicking on this little X in upper right hand corner. Okay? I can close Excel. I can close the workbook. When I do the Excel, the top one, it's going to say, sure you want to do that and save what you had in the workbook? And I'm going to say no because there really isn't anything here to save. But it does warn me that I can save if I forget to do that. 